What's up guys, Strax here. Today I'm going to show you the top four military outfits to make for your female character. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the first military outfit. This will be the first military outfit I'm going to show you on how to make in today's video. So for this outfit, after you are at a clothing store, walk up here to the front counter, scroll down to the Kyle Perico heist on slot 50, click on grab to equip the naturalist outfit. You can then just back out of the front counter and take off any head accessories that your character does have. After you do take off your head accessories, go back up here to the front counter and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. And after you do save your outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 10. And you're gonna equip one of these four outfits from slot nine through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do that, back out of the front counter. And now we're gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. When you do find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit we saved at the clothing store, which will look like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over with your outfit, and all we're gonna do now is just head to a gun store. After you make it to a gun store, walk over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of the top section. Now we're gonna start up a job. To do this, hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a titan of a job and fully start up that mission. And there you guys go. As soon as you load into the job, you should see that you're not wearing a utility vest anymore, but the pouches are like kind of floating and you're still wearing the toxic mask. So go back over here to the top section and once again, save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, you can back up the top section again. Now pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone. When you have loaded back into a public or an invite only lobby, your outfit should still look like this with the floating pouches on your outfit. Now what I'm going to do is just switch to the outfit so I don't have to scroll through the components. But what you need to do is after you make it to a clothing store, just go up here to the top section. You're going to scroll down until you do find it tucked service shirts which will be up here on slot 39. So click on tuck service shirts and you're gonna look for the Moss short service shirt tucked on slot two. After you do equip this tucked service shirt, you can then back out of the top section. I'm gonna show you on how to get the green body armor later, but you should have the green service shirt with the pouches. Now go over here to the pants section. You're gonna go to cargo pants on slot three and equip the khaki large cargo on slot seven. After you do have these cargo pants, back out of the pants section, head over here to your accessories. You're now gonna scroll down to watches, which will be on slot nine, and you're gonna look for the black fashion on slot 30. After you do equip the black fashion watch, back out, go to gloves on slot 10, and look for the contrast camo armored on slot 37. Once you do have the contrast camo armored gloves, you can then back out, go to cuffs on slot 11, and look for the chunky wrist chain for your right arm on slot 76. So after you do have the watch, the gloves, and the cuffs, that's all for your accessories. Now walk over here to the shoe section, scroll down to rubberized boots on slot 15, and you're gonna equip the woodland rubberized on slot 46. After you do have the woodland rubberized boots, back into the shoe section, walk over here to your hats, scroll down to combat helmets on slot 24, and to look for the Moss Dual Lens on slot 66. Once you do have this combat helmet, the Moss Dual Lens, you can then back up the hats, go over here to the glasses, click on the first slot, which should be sports glasses, and equip the Tan Tact on slot 11. After you do have the Tan Tactical back out of your glasses, and now we're gonna head over here to the mask store for our mask on our outfit. When you have made it to the mask store, before we go into the mask, you're gonna equip the body armor first on your character. And to do this, pull up your interaction menu, go to inventory, go to body armor, click on body armor, scroll down to show armor, and set it to the heavy armor, which is this green vest right here, which is this green body armor. After you do have this green body armor, the heavy armor on your character, back out of your interaction menu, you can now go into the mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 18, and look for the green tight ski on slot 111. After you do equip the green tight ski mask, back out of the hats, you should see that it does merge with your helmet. Now what we're gonna do is head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch to get the goggles over with mask and helmet. 
Whenever you have made it to the pier and you find a telescope, do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, and you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you do find the tan tactical goggles. You will see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't need to worry. After you find the tan tactical goggles, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask, the goggles, and the helmet will merge all together just like this. Now, if you want your dual lens to be up, what you can do is hold right on your D-pad, and just like that, you'll see that your dual lens go down. Now, if you do activate night vision, you can just pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, go to your helmets, and then if you're on Xbox, press X, or if you're on PlayStation, press square to deactivate the, the night vision. After you've done that, if you want your night vision to go back up, your night vision dual lens, hold right on your D-pad again, and just like that, but I'll be your outfit. Now you can just go to the clothing store, save it on whichever slot you want, and that will be all. After you've saved it, let's move on to the second military female outfit. This will be the second female military outfit I'm gonna show you on how to make in today's video. For this outfit, after you have made it back to the clothing store, go over here to the top section, scroll down until you do find sports tops, which will be on slot 54, and you're gonna equip the black baseball tee on slot 39. After you do have the sports top, you can then back out, scroll down to the bottom, which should be on slot 69, on utility vest, click on utility vest, and look for the white camo plate carrier on slot 40. Once you do have the sports top and this utility vest, you can then back up to the top section, head over here to your pants. You're then just going to scroll down to cargo pants on slot 3 and equip the light gray large cargos on slot 5. Once you do have these cargo pants, you can back out of the pants section, head over here to your accessories. You're then going to click on scarves on slot 4 and look for the black tassel scarf, which will be all the way at the bottom on slot 22. Once you do have the black tassel scarf, back out of scarves. Go down to watches on slot 9, you're going to equip the pewter watch on slot 34, which will be all the way at the bottom. Once you do have this watch, you can then back out, go to gloves on slot 10, and look for the gray fingerless gloves on slot 55. After you have the black, or the gray fingerless gloves, back out of your gloves, go to cuffs on slot 11, and to look for the chunky wrist chain for your right arm on slot 76. After you have the chunky wrist chain for your right arm, the gloves, and the watch, and the scarf, that will be all for your accessories. Now head over here to your shoes, go ahead and scroll down to rubberized boots on slot 15, and look for the gray camo rubberized on slot 42. After you do have the gray camo rubberized boots, back out of the shoe section, walk over here to your hats, scroll down to combat helmets on slot 24, and you're going to look for the black dual lens on slot 67. After you do have the black dual lens, you can back out of the hats. Now, if your dual lens visors are down, what you can do is hold right on your D-pad, just like this. You can see that the visors go down like that. Now, if you hold right on the D-pad again, your visors will go up just like mine. After your visors are up, walk over here to the glasses section, click on sports glasses, and you can buy the junk energy or you can you actually get them for free if you logged on on a certain day so if you have the junk energy goggles i'd recommend you to use these the other pair you can also use if you don't have the junk energy goggles you can use the ash tactical goggles which will be right here on slot 20. so once you do have the goggles you like you can then just back out of the glasses and now we're just going to head over here to the mask store for the mask on our outfit after you have made it to the mask store just walk over here to your mask Scroll down to Ski Mask on slot 18 and look for the Gray Camo Spec Ski on slot 44. Once you do have the Gray Camo Spec Ski, you will see that it merges with your dual lens. Now we're going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch and get the goggles with the mask and helmet. When you do find a telescope on the pier, do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, your character will run in place. Then you look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style. Go to your accessories and just scroll through your glasses until you do find the junk energy goggles or the i believe it's the white tactical goggles one of those two whichever you guys have if you don't have the junk energy goggles then you can just back out of the interaction menu your mask will come off but you guys don't need to worry walk away from the telescope and you will see that the mask the goggles and the helmet merged all together just like this and that will be all for your outfit so now you can just go to the clothing store, save it on whichever slot you want, and here's what the outfit looks like on the pause menu, just in case you guys are wondering. 
So I hope you guys do like it. Now, after you've saved it, we can move on to the third military female outfit. Okay, guys, this will be the third military female outfit I'm gonna show you on how to make in today's video. For this outfit, you're just gonna walk over here to the top section, scroll down until you do find sweaters, which will be up here on slot 45, and look for the beige turtleneck on slot 55. Once you do have the beige turtleneck sweater, back out of the sweaters, scroll down to slot 69, which will be utility vest, and you're gonna equip the beige digital armor on slot 62. Once you do have the sweater and the utility vest, that's all for the top section. Now walk over here to your pants. When you do make it to the pants, scroll down to utility pants on slot 14, and you're gonna look for the white guarded cargoes on slot 12. After you do have the white gar guarded cargoes utility pants, you can then just back out of the pants section, go over here to your accessories. You're gonna scroll down to gloves on slot 10, and look for the tan wool gloves on slot 64. After you do have the tan wool gloves, that's all for your accessories. So head over here to your hats. You're then just gonna scroll down until you find combat helmets, which will be on slot 24, and you're gonna buy the black advanced on slot 23. After you do buy the black advanced combat helmet, you can then back out of the hat section. Now for the parachute, you're gonna pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and have it set to the black combat shoe bag, which looks like this. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, what you're gonna do is go to a gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then look for the black combat shoe bag. After you buy the black combat shoe bag, back up to the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it should be set to the black combat shoe bag, like this. Now that you do have the parachute, we can now head over here to the mask store, for our outfit. When you guys have made it to the mask store, walk over here to your mask. You're gonna scroll down until you do find tactical, which will be on slot 20, and you're gonna buy the white night vision on slot 34. So after you do have the tactical white night vision mask, you can then back out of the mask door. You will see that your helmet comes off. So now we're gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch to merge the helmet over with this mask. As soon as you do find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you find the black advanced. Your mask will come off, but after you find the black advanced, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see the mask and helmet merge together just like this. Now, if you guys do want to activate the night vision goggles, what you can do is pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, go to your masks, and then if you guys are on Xbox, just press X, or if you're on PlayStation, press square, and you can activate the night vision goggles like this. Now, if you just want to deactivate it, press the same button that you did deactiv to activate it, and that will be all. So if you guys just want to go to the clothing store and save it, you guys can do that now because we're finished. So I hope you guys do like this outfit. After you have saved it, we can now move on to the fourth military outfit. Okay guys, now for the fourth and final military outfit, I'm gonna show you on how to make for your female character. What you're gonna do is walk up here to the front counter. You're gonna scroll down until you find Kyle Perico Heist on slot 50, click on Grassland Armor, and you're just gonna equip the first one that we did make just with the first outfit, the Naturalist outfit. After you do equip the Naturalist, you can back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu and just take off any head accessories that your character does have. And then what you're gonna do is just hit edit save outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you, after you do save your outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 10, scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do that, back out of the front counter. And now we're gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. When you have made it to the pier and you find a telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you glitched, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit we just saved at the clothing store, which will look like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over with your outfit. All we're gonna do now is just head to a gun store. When you have made it to the gun store, just walk over here to the top section, Hit edit hit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of your top section, and now we're gonna start up a job. To do this, hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on Rockstar Created, 
click on missions, look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and fully start up that mission. And as soon as you guys load into the job, you should see that you're not wearing the utility vest anymore, but your pouches are floating, but you're still wearing the toxic mask. So go back over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, and once again, save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you've saved your outfit, you can back out of the top section again, pull up your phone, and just quit the job from your phone. Whenever you have loaded back into a public or an invite only lobby, you're now going to go to a clothing store. So your outfit should still look like this with the floating pouches and the toxic mask. Whenever you are back at the clothing store, what I'm going to do is equip the outfit that I'm going to show you on how to make so I don't have to scroll through the slots. But after you do have this outfit that I'm wearing right here, you're just going to walk over here to the top section, scroll down until you do find sweaters, which will be up here on slot 45 and you're gonna look for the black turtleneck on slot 57. After you do equip the black turtleneck sweater, you can back out of the top section. I'll show you on how to get the green body armor later, but for right now, we're gonna walk over here to the pants section, scroll down to cargo pants on slot three, and look for the splinter cargo on slot 19. Once you do have the splinter cargo pants, you can back out of the pants section, head over here to your accessories. You're now gonna to go to gloves on slot 10, and equip the Moss Digital Armored on slot 41. Once you do have the Moss Digital Armored gloves, that's all for your accessories. So head over here to your shoes, scroll down to go to the shoe section, click on boots, which will be on slot one, and you're gonna look for the heavy uniform boots on slot 16. Once you do have the heavy uniform boots, back into the shoe section, walk over here to your hats, scroll down to combat helmets on slot 24, and you're gonna buy the Splinter Dual Lens 52. Once you do have this combat helmet, back out of the hats, go over here to your glasses. You're going to click on sports glasses, which should be on the first slot, and you're going to look for the olive tactical goggles on slot 14. After you do have these sports glasses or the sports goggles, back out of the glasses section. And now for the body armor, what you're going to do is pull up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, go to your body armor, scroll down to show armor, and set it to this heavy armor, which is this green vest right here. After you do have the heavy body armor, you can now just go over here to the mask door so then we can get the mask for our outfit. After you have made it to the mask door, now if you do want your dual lens visors to be up, what you can do is hold right on your D-pad like this and you'll see that your visors go down. If night vision does activate, you can pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, go to your helmets, and if you're on Xbox, press X to deactivate, or if you're on PlayStation, press square and then you should be able to deactivate the night vision goggles. Now you can put away your interaction menu, hold right on your D-pad, you'll see that your visors go up. Now for the mask, what you're gonna do is go over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask, on slot 18, and you're gonna buy the black tight ski on slot 114. After you do that, you should see that the helmet and the mask do merge together, but the goggles do come off. Now we're gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. When you make it to the pier and find a telescope, do the telescope glitch run by the telescope like this. Press right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place. Then look towards the telescope. That's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you do find the olive tactical goggles, which will look like this. Your mask will come off. So just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope. The mask, the goggles, and the helmet will merge all together just like this. And that will be all for your outfit. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save it on whichever slot you want, and that will be all. Here's what the outfit looks like in the pause menu in case you guys are wondering. So I hope you guys do like this outfit after you've saved it. That will be all for the four military outfits for your female character in today's video. I hope you guys do like them. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.